Expanding Wireshark. We're going to cover the idea and the concept behind mirror ports or span ports on Cisco devices. We'll learn how to use a port mirroring or a span port, and we'll learn the basics and the concepts behind the idea of port mirroring, and we'll explain how it works and why it is necessary. So up until now, all the port capturing we've done has been from a single computer, and we've captured everything that's coming towards that computer or that gets broadcast to that computer. A lot of network traffic, typically, like if you're capturing packets on a network, you're only going to capture packets that are either destined to that computer that you're using to capture packets from or packets that are broadcast to that entire subnet. If you were looking for specific traffic that is meant to go to one particular IP address, a lot of times you would not get it unless if you put something in place that would allow you to get that traffic directed to your capture machine as well. And one of those things that you can do is you can create a monitor or a mirror port or a span port. And this example right here is what you would see like on a Cisco device. This is something you would have to configure on the network switch that you're using. So in this example here, if we just look at this configuration here from a Cisco switch, we can see that there are two different monitor sessions set up here, two different examples of a monitor session. And what you do is you create a source port, and this would be the device connected to the interface that you want to monitor. And then the destination interface would be the interface where you want to capture those packets from. So basically what happens is any traffic that is on the source interface will also get sent to the destination interface as well. So it's kind of duplicating the traffic that's going to those two different interfaces. And it's getting duplicated for just the sole purpose for you to capture it and be able to review it later. And you can see in the second example here, there's another monitor session set up here where you're monitoring this interface and where it's getting sent to. So let's just take a little bit look at what this kind of looks like in a graphical sense. Here is your switch, and here is the computer you want to monitor. And then this is the sniffer or the packet capture machine that you're using to review the packets. So once you configure it on the sniffer port, the sniffer interface that you're using, traffic to and from the port connected to the PC1 here would also reach the sniffer port. All right, so let's get started with an example. Okay, so in this example, we're just going to show you how a typical configuration of a monitor port is set up. So right here is a pretty typical switch. It's a Cisco switch. And we can look at the configuration here. There's not a whole lot to the configuration. It's pretty generic in general. But here we have the monitor sessions that are set up in here. It's these four lines right here. These were the same four lines that I just showed in, in the PowerPoint. So if we want to look at the actual details of the monitor, we can go show monitor like that. And you can see the current active sessions that are on there. And we can see the local session right here, which where the ports that are being used are 10 and 5, 10 being the source and 5 being the destination. And here is a remote session type that we have set up here where it's also reviewing port 10 as the source interface. And then the destination is VLAN 5 is the remote one on a remote interface of six, port six. So that's pretty much it. If you want to look through a configuration to see all the configurations that relate to monitor ports, you can just do show run and then put that pipe in there and include monitor. And then you can just see specifically just the monitor session configurations that are set up. Now, granted, this is just for a Cisco type of device. There are other devices as well, but most of the configurations are very similar to this in theory, but this again is particular to Cisco.